Hey everyone, it's Nico with Legacy Realty, your favorite neighborhood realtor, and I hope you're all having a great day. Today's Tuesday. If you have never seen these videos before, I talk about this every week. The reason why I do these videos is to teach, train, and educate you guys about what it means to be a home buyer, a homeowner, a home seller. Uh, maybe you want to get into real estate and investing. And really, the goal here is for me to talk about what is going on in the real estate market, specifically in the Denver Metro real estate market and to just teach, train, and educate you guys so that you guys understand what is happening as our market continues to just shift. And the reason why my mission in real estate is to serve and to make a difference in the lives of others by creating a life, wealth, and a legacy through real estate. And so today is part two of this video of the first three steps of what to do and buy the first three steps in buying a home and selling a home so today i want to focus on selling i focused on the first three steps of buying last week and so you know i want to talk about the first three steps of, of selling a home and the reason why i want to focus on the first three steps is because when you look at the entire process of whether it's buying or selling a home for whatever reason the entire process is you know, it can be long. There are a lot of things to do. It can be daunting and it can be overwhelming. And so it's best to break down the process to go step by step. And sometimes it's best to just focus on the first couple things because there are some things in the process for both buying and selling that are really easy and really just take a, a, a click of a button or asking yourself questions or meeting with someone for coffee and it's just as easy as that and then there are definitely harder things like actually finding the home um, or actually finding the buyer to buy your home so and staging and all that so i want to focus on the first three steps because when putting your home on the market it's incredibly important to understand the process and understand the importance of pricing and how to best price your home to help you get both the top dollar for your home and if you're looking for it, a quick sale as well. And it's also important to understand the uh, in, in the impact that timing has uh, on putting your home on the market and having correct expectations when it comes to both pricing and timing the sale. So your first step, if you are looking to sell your home, is to meet with an agent. Uh, when you meet with an agent, they will help you figure out what you are seeking to accomplish in the sale of your home. You know, are you move, selling your home to move into a bigger home, move into a smaller home, move out of state, or are you just looking to get, you know, the most amount of money out of your home, or are you looking to get the right family in your home? And so these are questions that the real estate agent can ask you and help you figure out. And then what you want to do next is then go over the expectations of, again, you know, help your agent will help you go over expectations that you should have of what it looks like to sell your home the importance of timing the importance of pricing your home and understanding the seasonality of the market and when the best time to sell your home is and and this just depends on your situation so then secondly you want to determine and set a sale price as agents when we try to figure out a, a, a fair and competitive price we look at comparables of other homes in the neighborhood and that are more that are most like yours and this helps us understand what is going on in the current market and more importantly it will help us price the home correctly because and you want to be you want to price the home correctly because when you overprice then your home sits on the market for months uh, and, and overpricing can lead to reduced interest and just sitting on the market but then when you underprice the home you're going to receive less than what you know your home is worth so you want to really be tactful and strategic when planning the sale of your home and also setting the sale price of your home. And then thirdly, you want to, once you set that price, start getting your home ready to be sold. So whether it's, whether your list date is a couple of weeks from now or a few months from now or a year from now, once you know when you want to sell your home, start getting it ready. Uh, whether that's hiring painters, doing renovations to increase maybe the sale price of your home, redoing the kitchen or the bathroom, hiring staging companies and professional photographers. You want to begin the process of helping you in so that it helps you increase the chance of getting offers and possibly getting over asking offers. And then also do that deep cleaning, do the decluttering, the depersonalizing of your home so that buyers can actually envision themselves in your home. So. 
your first three steps, meet with an agent, determine and set your sale price with the advice of that agent. And then once you set that uh, time and once you set the price for when you're going to sell your home, start getting your home ready for the sale. These are the first three things that you're going to want to do. And when looking at the entire process, like I said, it can be incredibly overwhelming. So it's best to break it down. Start with the first couple steps and just move forward from there. If you have questions or if you need help with anything or want to talk about beginning the home sale process, please reach out to me. I would love to chat with you. I'd love to help you. Even if you don't end up using me, I would just love to be of help to you. So until next week, I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you all later.